Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Janky and Shanita Head coming to you live from the Shabola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. And today is Monday, October 18th, 2021. And we have 75 days left in the 2021 edition of the Game of Life. And I hope that you are playing. I hope that you're playing along with me. So it's gotten a little chilly here in Georgia. So I was able to pull out some sweater I haven't worn since last winter. Um, so that's fun. I love to pull out the new things and wear the new things and have a change of seasons with my clothing. But yesterday I had on jeans and just a three quarters length t-shirt and had to take that down to uh, a tank top and shorts. I mean, it got so hot in the sun. So when you hop on here this morning, please say good morning, where you're watching from and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. Hey Dawn, good morning. Good morning, Rhonda. Hey Diane from Columbus, Mississippi. IMF day, thank you for sharing too. She shared. Y'all, the share button is in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. You cannot know how important a share button is to a ministry. It helps get the word out about Shibboleth and gets us in front of new eyeballs, ones that we would have never seen before. And if you're one of our new eyeballs today, please know that we welcome you to check us out. Make sure we are the real deal. Colleen Bryant from Michigan, good morning, having a perfect day. Hey Ron, good morning, having a perfect day. Christy James, good morning, thank you, thank you Christy. Christy's having a perfect day today as well. Hey Michelle Harper, good morning, she's watching from the car. Um, she's probably got a busy, Busy day already started. Dawn, I have to pull out clothes today, but I'm but they are probably gonna swim on me, but that's okay. Hey, that's always fun. When you pull out your clothes, you're like, wait a minute, these are too big. Let's go shopping. Uh, Diane says, love the sparkle. Thank you, thank you all, thank you. <laughs> that's so sweet, Diane, thank you. Good morning, Cheryl from Clarksville, Georgia. Cheryl, we hope you had a great time on your trips with your girlfriends and with your husband, but we're glad you're back with us now. So, going to have a perfect day in Jacksonville, Florida. Rhonda is, that's fabulous. Let's see, Chris. Chris, good morning from Jacksonville, Florida, having an IMF day, up a tad, but I know fluctuations happen, yes. Fell on my walk today, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Chris. Icing your knee, that's a good thing to do, ice that knee. And uh, dear Heavenly Father, let that heal quickly so that Chris can get back to business, Lord. Let that be a temporary, temporary issue. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, Diane from Kennesaw. She's going to have a perfect day. I'm glad to hear that, Diane. And thank you for sharing. Thank you. I like it when the shares get at least into the double digits. So whether you share beginning, middle, or end, maybe you don't share until you hear if the devotion was good. Then you hit share. It doesn't matter. Whenever you share is great. So thank you, thank you, y'all. Hey, Deborah, good morning from Chickamauga. And we've got Angelia, IMF, perfect day. Good morning from Western North Carolina. Thank you, Michelle, thank you. Good morning, Alicia, at the beach and headed down to the gym to get in my six miles. Way to go. I thought that was so cute. That Happy birthday to your four-year-old today, by the way. And I love that he got to wake up to his birthday party in uh, the, at the beach. It's awesome. Good morning, Charlene from Michigan. Perfect day after a holiday weekend. See, that's what you do. You have a balanced life. If you have a holiday weekend, you get back to business on Monday. Yes. Oh, Chris. Chris still made it two miles. That's awesome. Hey, Lanny. 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 Good morning, Merritt Island, Florida. Hey, Polly, good morning. Good morning, Jen. Jen's having a Spartan IMF day. That means that she's doing a uh, challenge with Jason. You're welcome, Chris. Good morning, Deb, IMF day in Virginia. Hey, Mama, you have a great day, too. That's my mom, Elsie Mullins, y'all, if y'all want to give her a few hearts. Harriet, good morning from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And Polly is having a perfect day in Dalton. Thank you for sharing, Patty Bass. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so the devotion today is coming from, it's coming from the Tony Evans Bible Commentary. And I was reading in 1 Peter over the weekend and yesterday, and I marked this. The chapter, the section, if y'all want to type this in, is 1 Peter 1, 13 through 2, 3. So it's 1 Peter 1, 13 through 2, 3. Hey, Joanne, 
Joanne from Calhoun, Georgia. Glad you're on here this morning with us. Good morning, good morning. And I don't have time to read it from the Bible and then also read it from the commentary. So I'm just going to read it from the commentary. And I'm really only going to re read the, the parts I highlighted, okay? But the whole section is good. It's called A Call to Holy Living and Spiritual Growth. Well, I do need to read parts that I didn't underline. Thank y'all for typing that section in. Thank y'all. Okay, becoming a Christian is a call to action. That's why Peter tells them to have their minds ready for action and to set their hope on the grace they know they will receive at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Notice here too how these believers function now is determined by what they know about the future. So I think about these things with Shibboleth. You know, you've got to function now in a way based on what you know is going to be there in the future, the results that you get. <coughs> Man, the heat came on in my house this morning, and my throat is already dry. Do y'all have that happen when that happens? Good morning, Julie from Indiana. Glad you're on here. Erica, good morning. Having an IMF day in Wichita. That's awesome. So if you don't want to live a defeated life, I need to switch glasses. If you don't want to live a defeated life, you must roll up the sleeves of your mind and determine to focus on Christ. God won't make up your mind for you. So that was kind of like a little Shibboleth thing for me. Um, you got to set your mind on it. He won't make up your mind for you. What action does Peter call them to take? They are not to follow their former desires when they were ignorant of Christ. See, we are not to follow our former desires when we were ignorant of the lifestyle we could have in Shibboleth. Instead, they are to be holy in all their conduct. Why? Peter quotes God who says, be holy because I am holy. So why are we holy? Because God is holy. Indeed, God is holy, which means separate or set apart. He is distinct from his creation, unstained by sin. Him. and his standard of righteousness. Holiness is central to who God is. He is never described in the Bible as love, 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 or sovereign, 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 but the angelic beings emphasize that he is holy, holy, holy. Therefore, his love is a holy love. His sovereignty is a holy sovereignty. God's perfect holiness is at the heart of his other attributes. Everything about him is in a class by itself, and he calls his people to pursue holiness by seeking to please him in every dimension of their lives. And one of those dimensions is how we take care of the one body we get to live here on earth in. And the part about seeing it being set apart, I've never minded being set apart. I don't mind taking in things I've got to to a restaurant. Or, if I don't have things with me, ordering in a special way. Don't mind at all. Those who come to God through Jesus address him as Father and are to conduct themselves in reverence for God by taking him seriously. God expects his kingdom kids to look like him. Since he is holy, we are to be holy. Non-Christians should be viewing you as a little strange because you're seeking to conform to God's standards and not to the world's. The world's standards and the size of foods and portions at restaurants and everything like that get us all in trouble. <clears throat> Peter urges Christ's followers to live in holiness and fear because the Lord has redeemed them. We hear Travis say all the time, let's redeem the time. Let's redeem the time. We've done the <coughs> we've done the eating. Now let's redeem the time with the right living in Shibboleth. To redeem is to pay a price set for someone else. For instance, slaves could be redeemed. God redeemed Israel from slavery in Egypt and was called their redeemer. What did it cost to free you from slavery to sin? Not silver or gold, but something much more valuable, the precious blood of Christ. Well, if you and I are both stuck in a ditch, we can help get each other out. We need someone who's not in the ditch. Oh, wait, wait, I read that wrong. 
Uh, well, if you and I are both stuck in a ditch, we can't help each other out. We need someone who's not in the ditch. Sinners can't redeem other sinners. So if you're both in the ditch, you and your family, y'all are all in a ditch of eating, got to have somebody else help you out. And that's the Shibola lifestyle and education and the tools and the resources and the libraries, okay? You've got to have someone else help you out. If you've been redeemed, you're no longer your own. You have a new allegiance. This was God's plan before the foundation of the world. He redeemed sinners through Christ, raised him from the dead, and gave him glory. We have been transferred from slavery to the glorious kingdom of Christ. So our faith and hope are in God. He will keep his word to deliver and reward his people. We can be delivered from uh, food issues and bad food habits. We can be delivered from that. And he will reward us with the results that we get from applying what we learn. Although this new life is imperishable, it requires growth. Our sinful self-centeredness will continue to rule if we let it. Unless the seed of spiritual life is nourished, how do we ensure maturity? If we want to be physically healthy, we must feed our bodies what is nutritious while avoiding what is unwholesome. The same principle is true in the spiritual realm. The word that caused us to be born again is the same word that causes growth. But unfortunately, many Christians choose malnourishment. I don't want to choose malnourishment. You don't have to command babies to eat. They know when they're hungry. Christians must be reminded that they are spiritually hungry and must be fed. You also won't find infants consuming big meals on Sunday in order to last them their whole week. Babies eat regularly for day-to-day -day nourishment. Christians need the same thing. Some believers are consuming spiritual junk food that can't nourish and won't produce growth. They need a steady diet and application of God's word instead of man's opinion. Once we taste for ourselves that the Lord is good, we'll know nothing else can satisfy. So the best thing to do in those moments of weakness when you have to manage those moments of weakness is to go. Go to the Bible. What, what can it satisfy? Okay, and you might have to pull out some physical self-control, but go to what will satisfy. Did y'all like that this morning? I was reading that yesterday morning going, oh, that's a shibby show one. That's a shibby show. Let's see. Okay, Rhonda has decided to not take any more holidays till Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness, Rhonda, that's awesome. That is awesome. Um, Polly says, good morning, Kim's mama. Thank you, Polly. Uh, perfect day in Hickson, Tennessee for Sharon. Um, awesome, awesome. Harriet's agreeing with Rhonda. Maybe y'all should connect, okay, on Marco Polo or Messenger or something and hold each other accountable. That'd be really good. Sharon, after a couple of days at Orange Beach, Beach, needing to rid myself of a few pounds. Sharon, are you just going from the Pacific Northwest to the Emerald Isle? My goodness, you're just traveling all over the place. That's awesome. Hey, Melanie, good morning. Uh, I am F day after a hog trough day today. Back at it today with a battle buddy. Awesome. That Just knowing you're battling will help you have a better day today. And I hope you enjoyed the food that you ate yesterday. You know what? You can have a hog trough day and enjoy it. Anybody ever thought about that? You can, but you got to get right back to business after. The point is, don't let hog trough turn into momentum of hog trough. Let hog trough be to that one day only, and then you get back. So, great, back, great job on getting back to business this morning, Melanie. Good morning, Kathy from Michigan. Having a perfect day. Hey, Renita. I mean, Susie, so thankful for Shibboleth in this new lifestyle. That is awesome. That is awesome. Thank you all. What a wonderful goal, Rhonda, Missy says. Yes, and Sharon's just traveling all over the place. I love it. I love it. Well, I just want to say thank y'all for joining me this morning. Yep, Sharon says back to business, back to work. Okay, let's see what's going on on Planet Shibboleth today. Jason has his fall focus roundup this morning at 9 a.m. if you are doing that. Julie Marandino will have her class at noon. It's called Breaking the Fast. 
That's the name of her show. Like, my show is the Shibby Show, and you never know what you're going to get. Hers is called Breaking the Fast, and you never know what she's going to talk to you about today. That'll be at noon. If you miss that, it's recorded, too, and put into the video library under Julie's Corner. And then at 6 o'clock, if you are near Kennesaw, if you're near Kennesaw, please come to class in person. We really don't have very many in-person classes in the whole United States. So if you are near Kennesaw, please take advantage of that and come by and see us tonight. And then Fast Track is tonight at 7.30 and we are gonna be doing simple food combining. So I, talk, I start talking to people on Sunday nights about making their favorites lists, your favorite lean proteins and so forth. And tonight we're gonna see some samples of what those are and how you would put those together and make a few meals and eat them up and be in EFB and lose weight. Lose weight, lose that un unwanted weight that you don't want on your body. Good morning, Christy from Ball Ground. And Rhonda says, how many holidays can you take in a row? I'm going out of town for Thanksgiving. Rhonda, up to six. You could take up to six in a row, but what that means is, because see, Thanksgiving is further into the month. You would make a plan for that and you would keep perfect days all the way up until going out of town. And you can technically take six in a row if you need to, but then you wouldn't want to go further than that, okay? Because that would be outside of the six days um, that are allowed in a calendar month when in weight loss. Yep. Yep. I've done it before too, Rhonda. I've taken six days in a, in a row before myself. Now, I do try to manage that a little bit better, too. And the funny thing is, after you've learned everything that you have in Shibboleth, you almost can't do certain things. It's really funny. After two and a half years, you're like, no, I don't want to do that. Um, so, it's great. But this is why your best asset in this lifestyle is your ability to outlast everybody else. Let's just outlast everybody else, okay? Awesome. Well, let's go and hop off of here. I want you to go directly to your journal. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You are playing the game of life, and you're going to go and determine your day for today only, okay? And then, if you are watching on replay, please take the time to type in hashtag Shibboleth for His Glory with a capital H, and I look forward to seeing those written in later. Okay, thanks so much. I'm taking three or four then for Thanksgiving. Yes, you can do that. You can do that. I have three marked off in my, in my mind for Thanksgiving already. The day before Thanksgiving and the day after. So you can do that, Rhonda. It's a very doable, practical, enjoyable, and fun lifestyle. You're welcome. You're welcome, Sharon. You're welcome. Y'all have a blessed day, and hopefully I'll see y'all on Fast Track tonight. Bye, everybody.